Remember that amazing content feed we built, pulling RSS updates straight into Google Sheets? Awesome, right? But are you still checking that sheet manually? What if you could get crucial updates sent directly to your inbox automatically? Just like this, no more missing out. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to build this simple N8N workflow that reads your Google Sheet and emails you the rows you care about. Stop checking, start getting notified. Let's build it. All right, before we jump into building, let's do a quick prerequisite check. First, you'll need that Google Sheet we set up in the last video, the one collecting our RSS data. Second, and this is key, you need your email credentials configured and saved in N8N. For this video, I will be using Gmail. If you need help setting those credential up, check the link in the description for a guide. Got those? Perfect. Let's start building. Okay, new workflow. Crucial first step, we need to set the time zone for this entire workflow. Click the three dots in the top right corner. Then choose Settings. In this window, find the time zone drop down. Select your local time zone here. This is vital so your schedule runs correctly. Save or close that. Perfect. Now let's add our trigger. Click the plus, search schedule, and add the schedule trigger. For the mode, we'll select minutes. In the minutes between triggers, let's use five. Remember to adjust to what makes sense for your workflow. This means run every five minutes, based on the workflow time zone we just set. OK, schedule ready. Next, we need to add the node that reads our sheet. Click the plus sign, plus, after the schedule trigger. Search for Google Sheets and select it to add it to the workflow. Now that the Google Sheets node is added, let's configure it. Select your credentials from the drop-down. For the operation, choose Get Many Rows. Then, select your RSS data document and the correct sheet name. With the node configured, let's make sure it can actually read the data. Click the Fetch Test Event button on this Google Sheets node. Look, here's the data preview that appears below. This confirms N8N can connect to your sheet and pull the rows. Step one done. Workflow time zone set, trigger configured, Google Sheets node added, and data reading is successfully tested and ready. Now that we have the data, let's send it using Gmail. Click the plus again and search for Gmail and add that node. First step, select your Gmail credentials, the ones you hopefully set up earlier. Now the key fields are similar. Two is where you put the recipient's email address, probably yours. Subject will be the email subject line and message is the main content, like the body. We'll fill subject and message dynamically next, but let's get the to address in there now. Okay, Gmail node added and pointed to the right inbox. Okay, let's make these Gmail messages dynamic. For the subject line, click the gear icon and choose add expression. Let's type new post and then drag the title data pill from the input on the left into the expression box. Perfect. Now for the message, same process. Set it to expression mode. Let's drag in the title, the link, and maybe the publish date. You can add labels and line breaks right here in the editor to make it look nice. Now here's something important. See how our Google Sheet node might return multiple rows of data? NA10 is smart. This Gmail node will automatically run once for every single item it receives from the Sheets node. So if the Sheet has five rows, you'll get five separate emails sent via your Gmail account. We'll see this in the test. Key takeaway, one email per row, automatically handled. All right, moment of truth. Let's hit test workflow using the data we fetched from our sheet. Success. All nodes ran, including the Gmail node. And it, um, now if we check our Gmail inbox, look, we received separate emails, one for each row that the get rows node found in this test run, sent from our account. And back in N8N, you can see the Gmail node shows it ran X times. This confirms the behavior we discussed. The schedule trigger fires, Google Sheets gets the rows, and the Gmail node loops through each one, sending an individual email for each via your Gmail account. Perfect. Now we know it works exactly as expected. Fantastic, our workflow is tested and ready. Don't forget to save it. Give it a clear name like Sheet to Gmail Notifier. And the final step, Click the toggle to set it active. Got it. Now, this automation will run every hour, read your sheet, and email you every single row it finds using your Gmail account. Wait, every single row, every hour? If your sheet has 20 items, 
that's 20 emails. If it runs hourly, that could be hundreds of emails a day. That's not very useful, is it? What you really want is probably just the new item since the last check, right? And maybe just one single email summarizing all those new updates each day? Solving that, filtering for new items only and sending a clean daily summary, is exactly what we'll build in the very next video. You definitely don't want to miss that one. So now you know how to automatically send Gmail messages based on Google Sheets data. But to stop that email flood and get that clean daily summary of only the new stuff, you need to watch the next video. Click it right here on screen as soon as it's up. Seriously, hit subscribe and the bell. You won't want to miss the fix. Quick question. How many updates do you think you'd get daily with this workflow? Let me know below. Thanks for watching. Happy automating, and I'll see you in the next one.